Hi there, my name is Jim Morris with Fenland Falls Marina and I'd like to just talk to you a little bit about the new Yamaha jet boats. Uh, on my left here is the new AR190 with the tower. It's a brand new, brand new uh, line for Yamaha. We, uh, beautiful little boat, single engine, 180 horsepower. Pretty self-contained, very low maintenance on these things. There's, they're virtually maintenance free. The only thing that's recommended is, a, is an oil change with synthetic oil. It has uh, the no wake feature, which is an RPM based type cruise control. Beautiful little stereo system. A, a good size ski locker with plenty of storage easy access to your engine compartment, easy access to change your oil and filter. The, nu the, the real unique feature with the Yamaha boats are the, um, the ability when and if you do happen to suck up a few weeds, you uh, can go to the back of the boat, lift this hatch, reach in and you can actually reach right into the impeller area and pull the weeds out. Otherwise you're going to have to pull the boat out on a trailer or turn around and uh, go for a swim. I'd like to talk to you maybe a little bit about the other new boats that we have available. We have a new line of uh, 21 foot boats. The, S, uh, the 212X, the 212, um, the 212 SS and the only difference really is the X has the tower with the speaker package and the SS is just a, um, a, a normal jet boat without, the, those all have twin engines. Um, very powerful, just under 400 horsepower. They all have that feature where you can pull in and grab the, uh, grab the, uh, the weeds if you get stuck. They also have one thing new to, to Yamaha is they have a, what they call a low speed enhancement feature where it actually points the jet toward down more, downwards more than straight out the back and uh, giving you a little more control, quite a bit more control. They're very fuel efficient these boats unlike, um, unlike uh, a lot of other boats in their, ca in their class and uh, they're just a good all-around fun boat very well built. They're built down in Georgia and uh, they're just a lot of fun. Hi there. Okay, now I'd like to take a have you take a peek at our, our top of the line, the Rolls Royce of the fleet. It's a 242 Limited S Yamaha with a high output engine. You're putting out about 400 horsepower, and you're looking at about a 60 mile an hour boat. Satellite radio, fully loaded, little head on it. Ample space for about 12 people comfortably. I'm not the littlest guy in around, and that uh, you can fit 12 guys my size on there, and still have plenty of room. Yeah, you can definitely see the size here and the, uh, the seating capacity. Again, huge, ample, ample locker, storage locker. We have area up the front where you can put in a bow filler cushion. You can wakeboard off this. It has a beautiful stereo system with satellite radio, iPod hookup. Your passenger side area will pull out into a, into a bed bench type seating. You have a nice little dinette table that can be moved around within the boat. Your social swim at the back of the boat allows you, when you're at the sandbar, you can just swim up to the back of the boat without getting in and getting everything wet. Adjust your stereo. This, this also has a little shower feature where you, uh, if you're, you've got dirty feet or what have you before going in the boat, you can just rinse yourself off. Top notch quality material that we use in the seats so 10 years from now these seats should look just as nice as they do now. Snap-in carpet, bimini tops are all standard on all these boats and I should point out that all the Yamaha boat products that we're selling here today they all do come with trailers, beautiful swing tongue trailers. These, uh, the, the larger boats have a, of a dual axle with brakes the uh, smaller, the 19-footers, have a single axle with brakes, but they all have the swing tongue trailer. 
So they're virtually, you know, they're, they're first of all, they're virtually maintenance free and then they're also easy to store too at the end of the season. These boats really don't need a whole lot of winterizing going on. At the end of the season, you pour like uh, a liquid fogging oil type material into the gas. You uh, go for a little rip around the lake, pull it out on the trailer, blow out the excess water and it's, it's basically winterized. Um, all the components in the engine are stainless steel and uh, therefore you, there's no, no need to antifreeze or anything like that. The, again, the only thing they really recommend is a good oil change with synthetic oil. If you're running it in salt water, there's, there's ports to hook up a, a, a hose to and you can flush the engine out. And again, this is the top of the line and you're probably in around the, the $58,000 to $60,000 range for something like this.